AI has announced that you can now fine tune that GP or GP Turbo using API. So developers can now bring their own data to customize GPT-3 Turbo for their use cases. Okay. So what they are saying over here is that early tests show that a fine-tuned version of GPT Turbo can match or even outperform base GPT-4 level capability and narrow tasks. Okay. And as with all their APIs, data sent in and out of the fine-tuned AI is owned by the customer and is not used by OpenAI or any other organization to train other models. So what are the fine-tuning use cases? So you can actually uh, fine-tune GPT-3.0 Turbo to improve steerability. So this makes businesses, uh, you know, allows the businesses to make the model follow instructions better, such as making outputs or always responding in a language okay for example developers can use fine-tuning to ensure that the model always responds in German when prompted to use that language you can have reliable output formatting so fine-tuning improves the model's ability to consistently format response for example you want a JSON outputs right so you can do that now uh, you can have a custom tone to the responses okay a business with recognizable brand voice can use fine tuning for the model to be more consistent with their tone so in addition to increased performance you can uh, fine tuning also enables businesses to shorten their prompts and fine tuning with gpt 3.5 turbo can also handle 4k tokens okay context length is 4k tokens double than their previously fine-tuned okay so what they say over here is that early testers have reduced prompt size by up to 90 percent by fine-tuning in the model itself so what are the steps for fine-tuning very simple you have to prepare your data the following format okay so if you look at this particular format right uh you know if you look at this particular format you have this role uh, system content and then you have the prompt okay system content basically this is for the system prompt right okay you have the system prompt first your custom system prompt then you have the user prompt okay the role is user content is the user prompt and the response which is expected from the assistant okay so you have examples like this in your data set so you have to create a data set like this then you can upload the data set. Once you upload the data set, you need to create a fine tuning job. Okay. So then once the fine tuning process is over, you can use that fine tuned model. Okay. So they also have a fine tuning guide over here where it is explained very nicely on how to do fine tuning. And they say which models can be done for fine tuning. So the new recommended is GPT 3.5 Turbo. And here you have, uh, you know, the common use cases again, what I've covered previously. Here you have this example format again over. Okay. Uh, so you have the system prompt, right? Marv is a factual chatbot that is also sarcastic in this train. And you have multiple examples of your training data like this, right? And then you have the role, which is the uh, uh, user, right? First role is system. And you have the system uh, prompt, which is the content. Then you have the role user. The uh, content is user prompt over here. What is the capital of France is the example over here. And the assistant is you know, giving an answer over here. So the role is assistant and content is the response which is expected from the assistant. So this being a sarcastic chatbot, the response is like Paris as if everyone doesn't know that already. Okay. Um, so this is just a simple example which they have given over. And uh, once you have this particular uh, format, right, uh, then you can actually, you, you have created the data set, right? You can check the format, right? Uh, you can have the data validated. There is code for that. Then you can go ahead and create your fine tuning model with this data set. Uh, 
uh, so the examples are given over here or the code is given over here how to create a fine-tuned model and how to make use of a fine-tuned model so you can check this out okay, this guide over here some of the key things which I liked over here is like you know how many samples are required how many training samples are required so somewhere over here um, they have mentioned that uh, you require around say you can start with something like 50 examples right uh, let's see over here yeah we recommend starting with 50 well crafted demonstrations and see if the model shows signs of improvement after fine tuning right in some cases that may be sufficient but if the model is not yet clear improvements are a good sign and then you can add more data right uh, to fine tune a model at least 10 examples need to be provided and they say that we typically see clear improvements from fine tuning on 50 to 100 training examples with GPT 3.5 Turbo, but the number varies greatly based on the exact use case. So this guide is very good. You can check out this guide and they have given the costs also over here for a training file with close to 100K tokens trained over three epochs, right? The expected cost would be just $2, okay? Um, so cost wise it is very efficient I believe right but depends on your use cases and then they have given exa like details on how, uh, how to iterate on data quality and quantity and hyperparameters as well you can check out this particular guide um, so they have the pricing over here so fine tuning costs are broken into buckets the initial training cost and usage cost so the training costs are this dollar 0 0.008 per 1k tokens um, so the usage input is again for the input tokens and for the output tokens these are the costs okay so here they have given the example again that's what for 100k tokens for three epochs it is dollars 2.40 so this is very interesting development uh, what they are saying is that in the future they will provide uh, you know fine tuning for gpt4 as well becoming this fall and currently you cannot make use of function calling maybe in the future they want to provide this as well in fine tuning okay, for fine tuning a model as well so this was a short video about a fine tuning using g turbo i hope this video is useful for you i will be putting the link to this blog in the description video if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video